Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office. Just wanted to show you something. I've got enough bits and pieces to make a second uh, computer, basically rendering computer. And I'll show you the one I've got. You might have seen it in previous videos. It's this bad boy with all of its gubbins in there. Um, so I'm going to set up another one, but the only problem is if you look at my office, not much room. This is the old sort of computer desk and I want to have a whole new station here. And this is where I want that big ass computer to go and it's going to take up all of that space unfortunately. However, my brother-in-law rather kindly has knocked up something for me and that's this shelf. So we'll try to take a little bit of a look at this shelf here. Well, it's quite big, I'll have to stand quite far back. But basically, if I can turn it that way, it's a bit of shiny MDF, which is sort of, I don't know, nearly, it's at least 15 mil nominal, maybe a bit thicker. And this blue stuff comes off, that's just to protect the edge. And the idea is I can put that on this desk and then there's this sort of little shelfy thing so I can shove all the sort of regular crap underneath. So that's going to be my plan for the moment. So I've got some other things to do, of course, though. I have a lot of motherboards to test because I'm not sure which bit of hardware failed on my last one. So I'm going to have to sort of reuse hardware I've got just to make up the base of the system. So the main uh, case is brand new and the CPU is brand new and stuff like that. But some of the other bits will be uh, salvaged from previous builds. And also because my main desktop PC has got 32 gigs of RAM, I think it's too much. I've never seen anything use anywhere near that, anything above eight. So I'm gonna split that. So I've got a 16 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte setup. So um, without further ado, I think I'm just gonna start clearing it and we'll have a look a bit later once I've got everything put together. Absolutely massive, this machine. So while I was sort of had everything clear, I was sort of having a play with the configuration. So I tried that thing that way, but really it's not long enough. You end up with a little wedge of desk that's not very useful really, apart from maybe keeping the paper tray. And also your monitors are hitting this shelf underneath. So I think I'm going to go with something similar to this, either that way or maybe turned round on its end. I'm not sure yet, but it's, it's a lot lighter now because it doesn't have its power supply and everything in. So by the time I fit its power supply motherboard, it will get quite heavy. So I don't really want to move it. I might just turn it that way, but we'll see really. This thing seems quite imposing because it's bright white, but frankly, it gives you quite a lot of room underneath. So I think it will be a necessary evil for now. Work is still ongoing, as you can see. I put the motherboard in, memory, everything. I'm waiting for the CPU to arrive. The parcel isn't here yet. Got the cooler all set up. It's that same sort of cooler master I've already reviewed. Those are excellent. Came with a different fan though, but pretty much the same spec. Um, I've set up the monitors. Just again, hopefully waiting for a DVI cable to set up a second monitor. Very excited about this because I finally get to just get all of this crap that's all over the floor now away. I can't do it until this is built and shoved in its corner. Had a play with her last night, made sure it was all put together, and there it is. Wunderbar, all assembled. It's got quite a dinky little graphics card. I'll just sort of zoom in and let you have a look at it because it's not like the other ones I normally get. It's a bit dark in there, I know, I appreciate that. But you can see it's just one of these Radeon R7 type things. There's no like SLI or anything like that on it, but uh, it works good, it works real good. The whole machine actually just sort of powers on, does its thing, and I actually use a clone drive from my other machine over there, my main machine. So it's basically a clone of that. It's sort of whole Windows OS, everything on there. Just basically set up to run on just the uh, sort of dual screen setup. It does have a, an interesting sort of feature though, because when I do run it, it's thermal overhead, the thermal capacity is a few degrees, about eight degrees less than that machine. And I can show you why really, because if you look at this one, you can see the cooler there has the one fan on it, this one here, and it's just blowing straight through. But I actually had a sort of spare fan from that horrible water cooler, the one that was sort of annoying me. Um, on this one, so I've actually fitted the sort of it's in a push and a pull configuration, so that really helps. So, despite having the sort of bigger graphics cards, I think there's because there's just more airflow generally through that unit, it just works better. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. That's basically a, a salvage sort of motherboard. Disappointingly, I've got them up here, all the bits and pieces that I'm going to throw away. That's sort of two motherboards and a, a graphics card or two. Um, now I say throw away, I might just keep them as sort of spare parts because you never know when you're going to need to desolder something. I know most people at home won't be doing that sort of thing. I have been asked though, why do I use these open frame cases? And it's a, a tricky one. Um, I started with one, 
that one over there. And I was given this one, so that's probably the main reason why. But also, I do sort of tend to actually sort of dive into these machines and like to keep them clean and dust free and everything. There's nothing worse though than if you've got like a sort of high powered workstation and it actually the side panel gets full of uh, dust bunnies and the whole system starts clocking itself down and getting slower and slower and you might never know unless you're monitoring that. So to be honest, I'd rather just have it there and just upgrade it willy nilly when I want. And also the fact now I've got two identical systems with the same processor, same memory, same everything. The only difference is actually the motherboards but everything else is, oh, and the graphics cards, but everything else is the same. I can just swap bits between them, all the essential parts I can swap. So I can just do the same work on one or the other and just sort of split work between the two. So that's really it. It's not uh, not my typical sort of a video, but uh, I thought you'd just find it a little bit interesting to see how I uh, do things here and how I sort of get on and do sort of my videos and process my uh, day of work. Please like, click, subscribe, and as ever, thank you for watching.